Now that we have the radio set up, we can start playing with the actual radio. The first step, obviously, is to be able to turn the radio on. Near the tuning knob, there is a wide button with an orange line across it. Pressing it will turn the radio on. Pressing it again turns it back off. Now that the radio is turned on, let's talk about how the buttons work. Most of the buttons have two functions. The mode switch, for example, if you push the button once, you'll hear a beep, and it goes from lower sideband, which is what it was before, to CW. Press it again, and it comes back to lower sideband. If you press and hold, you'll hear a second beep, and instead of going from lower sideband to CW, it now I want to upper sideband. Press and hold again, it goes back to lower sideband. In CW mode, it has a similar function. You press and hold, it goes to what's called CWR. CWR is, is the opposite sideband. Uh, normally, CW is receiving a lower sideband, according to the manual. Uh, in CWR, it's listening on upper sideband. Lower sideband, upper sideband in the CW mode. The other interesting thing you'll notice is that you'll notice the frequency readout changed when you went to CW mode. When we're in lower sideband, it says 7150. When we go to CWR, it changed the frequency down by 600 hertz, which is the offset necessary to be able to hear the CW signal that's being sent. So in other words, that moves you down 600 hertz so that the signal on 7150 has a 600 hertz tone when they send. That's the default for the radio. Another feature on the radio is the tuning speed. Pressing it once gives you the uh, 1 kilohertz tuning rate, which allows you to go from one end of the band to the other. This is not particularly useful except for scooting around the band because you can't really tune anybody in. But, as I say, you can get from, this is the beginning of the band, 7 megahertz, and there's the other end of the band, 7300. And even just dialing in a specific frequency like 7150 is not, is a little touchy. Okay, if you press and hold the term, the tuning speed button, it turns on this extra digit down here and allows you to tune at 1 hertz rate. Normal rate is 10 hertz. This allows you to tune at 1 hertz steps. Now this is much slower. To go from one end of the band to another would take forever. You notice that I'm sitting here spinning the dial and we've gone, there's 3 kilohertz. So we'll start back at 7150. We'll turn this back off. Now we're at the 10 hertz rate. It goes a little faster at the 10 hertz rate. 10 times faster, actually. So there are those two controls. Put this back on 7150. All right, we also have the tuner button. Pressing and holding this causes the radio to tune. Once you've gone through that, the beep goes away. That means that the radio is ready to transmit. Another button here is the filter button. There are three standard filters for every given for every mode that you operate. There's wide, medium, and narrow. Wide is just that. In the case of uh, sideband, that's about 2.4 kilohertz. And I think narrow is about 1.4 kilohertz, and medium is about 1.8. Another button that may be useful is the speech button. Pressing that. S6, 7.15 megahertz, LSB.
it gives you the free uh, the S meter readout. That's the S the S six, and then it reads out the frequency and. Then finally, it gives you the mode, lower sideband. So let's say we change over to CW. We'll try it again. Change it just to CW. S07.1494 megahertz CW. Next thing that we want to look at are the two sets of controls that are to the left of the tuning knob. These are two concentric controls. Uh, the lower one, where my finger is, is the uh, audio level and the RF gain control. The outside control, which is next to the case, is the RF. It should normally be at the 12 o'clock position. If you move it beyond 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, it will uh, turn off the receiver, basically go into squelch mode. For single sideband CW, those are pretty. That's fairly useless as far as operation. For AM, it might be useful. Uh, turning it to nine o'clock or counterclockwise will reduce the gain of the front end of the receiver. The inside knob, which is the farthest one away from the uh, case. This is the audio level. So you need to set this so that you are comfortable and can hear uh, adequately. The control above it is called twin pass band tuning. What this allows you to do is to basically tailor the filter setting so that it's optimized to work with what you're listening to. If you tune them together, what it does is it moves the frequency the sweet spot of the filter up and down the band. Notice how it gets lower when I go to the counterclockwise. When I go clockwise, it gets higher. You can also tune them, use them se uh, separately. And let's say you make that one go higher and this one go lower. And what that does is it slides the two pass band filters across each other so that it tends to make them a little sharper and then you can also move it to where you want it to be. So for example, if you're trying to isolate a signal at a specific spot, this is a good control. When they're not in use, you want them at the 12 o'clock position. At that point they are disabled. The next most important thing is being able to set what band the radio is tuned to. There is a control, or a button, down here. It's called F-IMP-ENT, and then underneath it it says Band. If you press it once, the display changes to all dashes and allows you to enter the frequency. For example, let's say we want to go to 20 meters, so we'll go to, let's say, 14,250. You enter 1, 4, put the period, 2, Five, and at that point actually you can hit the enter button and it will go to 14250. So the first time you press it, it changes to all dashes. The second time you hit it, it enters the frequency. So now we're on 14250. Another feature of this is that if you press and hold the button, you'll hear a beep. And instead of changing to all dashes, it says band. At that point, in white letters on this section of the buttons, you will find you have a 1.8, 3.5, etc. This corresponds to the band that you're going to go to. So let's say we hit 7 to go to 40 meters, and that brings up 40 meters. At this point, many operators will find that they are comfortable with the radio. We'll go to, to some of the more advanced features here in just a minute.